Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Chelsea and I am a full-time reseller. I sell on Poshmark, eBay, and Mercari. And today I have a massive haul for you. So my mom was in town um, yesterday and we went to three different thrift stores. Yes, we started at, no, four different thrift stores. <laughs> so we went to a Goodwill, a, and then two like small mom and pop thrift stores, and then we went to the bins. And then after that, we went out for dinner at the Mediterranean restaurant and got delicious food. It was such a good day. Um, I love that my mom likes to thrift with me for fun. <laughs> so um, yeah, we had a really great day. And these are all the things that I got. So it's a big haul. So you might want to grab a cup of tea or some popcorn or something to do. Maybe you'll be cross-listing or listing, doing some tasks while you watch. Either way, I hope you enjoy because I've got a lot of things that I'm going to be reselling to show you. And I also have a bag of clothes from my grandma that she got the stains out of. So I'm going to show those to you really quick too because there's some really, really good stuff in there. And she is a miracle worker. <laughs> so if you want to see all of that, Stay tuned. All right, let's get into the haul. All right, so the first thing I got was at this store, Teen Challenge Thrift Store, and I spent a total of $5.74 there. And I just got two things but um two really unique things so the first thing is this very unique little kids dress and if you see there it has ronald mcdonald embroidered on it and it's mcdonald land fashions by mcdonald and it was sold at sears and it's a size three i just think it's so funny that mcdonald's came out with their own clothes like what if people did that today and people were wearing mcdonald's clothes i just think it's so funny so anyway um, I did a quick look at comps and it looked like some others like this had sold around $25, but I didn't see one exactly like this. So I need to do a little bit more research on this, but yeah, I was excited to find that. Okay. I also got some Birkenstocks for $3 and 88 cents. They're not in perfect condition. You can see the footbed in there, but the bottoms or the, the foot, the, what's it called? The sole and the inside looked really good. So I figured I'd give them a chance. Birkenstocks always sell well for me, even if they are um, distressed like those are and they have been worn. People love their Birks. All right, the next store we went to was a normal Goodwill and I spent $17 there on two pairs of shoes. And I did my research on these because I normally don't pay up that much for shoes, but these are some good ones. So these are some coach shoes and I looked them up um, based on the number on the inside, it's G4279. So I looked that up and I was able to find the style name and find exact comps. And it has like these little rivets here, this cool detailing around here. They're just really nice quality shoes. The soles look pretty good. They don't look very worn at all. I think I saw a sold comp of these selling for around 50 to $75. So hopefully I can get that much for those. And then this was the best find, but they do need a little bit of work. So I got, some Uggs. So these are some really nice Ugg boots. However, they do need to be cleaned. So I'm thinking about ordering the Ugg cleaner right off of Amazon. I think it was like um, $20 for the cleaning kit, or I could just order the cleaning stuff by itself. And it was less just like the suede cleaner, but that comes with the brush. So I might just order the whole kit because I need some suede cleaner for other shoes. Um, so anyway, I got these boots and they're in really good condition besides like, see that detailing right there? Not detailing. Do you see that? It almost looks like mold or water damage. But other than that, they're in great condition and it is like the real sheepskin or sheep wool inner. They're a size nine. That's my size. Do I need these for something? No, I don't. I live in Florida. All right, so they are textile and leather, sheepskin and rubber. So anyway, it has a style name number there and I think I looked that up. And these look to be selling around $75, $80. So yeah, I'm excited about those. And I'm hoping I can clean them up to make them look like new. So two really good pairs of shoes. I was very excited to find those because I feel like I don't have as good of luck with shoes. But one thing I will say is we were there at 10 o'clock in the morning and I feel like that really helped. So just getting to the thrift store early in the morning I think is what really paid off. All right. This next thrift store, I got this huge bag full of stuff. Let me show you how huge it is. 
it's a trash bag. <laughs> I got this bag full of stuff for $23.53. They had a, a sale going on where all of the women's clothing, no, all of the clothing was $1 unless it was kids clothes and it was only 50 cents. So I got a lot of stuff for really good prices and then I think I paid $1.99 for a purse. I got an instrument here that I paid. I don't even see that on here. I don't know how much they charged me for that. Okay, anyway, let me show you what I got and I'll talk through it as I go. So I was at the register getting ready to check out and I saw these Ray Dunn plates. They're just paper plates, guys, I know. Not like super exciting or amazing, but I know that St. Patrick's Day is coming up soon. So I looked these up really quick on eBay and people were selling these for like 10 bucks for one set. Or I saw someone had $30 and then it was and shipping. So I'm like, okay, well, since they're a buck a piece and they're really easy to list, I'll give that a shot. I mean, worst case scenario, I can use them myself. That's a dollar for paper plates. I mean, duh. So I'll give those a shot and see how they do. I just couldn't resist. All right, next is this tambourine. <laughs> So my mom found this and she's like, you should look this up. Um, I hear musical instruments do really well. And I was like, mom, what? Like I didn't, I don't know. I've never looked up things like this before. So I looked it up and sure enough, tambourines sell for good money. And there were ones similar to this that sold for around 30 to $40. Um, yeah, I just, I have no idea. There's no like markings on this that would give it any indication of brand. It does look like someone tried to like carve their name into that, but it doesn't look like an official marking. So if you know anything about tam, I think this is a tambourine, 99% sure. But if you know anything about selling stuff like this, let me know because I'm new and I just figured I'd give it a shot because yeah, my mom found it. So that was exciting. Um, I found this little baby bonnet. The brand is Madonna and I just thought it was cute and that's why I bought it to sell it. And I don't even know what this will sell for but um, it's adorable, so we'll see. My mom said it was a good brand from like, you know, my childhood, but um, it's definitely vintage, made in the USA. So yeah, if you know anything about that, let me know. I just got it because it was cute and I figured, what the heck. All right, um, another little vintage piece. This is just a little vintage dress. It says handmade. I don't know if it says five years. This dress really doesn't look like five years. I don't know, maybe it's just a shirt. So delicate and cute. And I don't know, it just looks like something I want to put in a frame and, and put in my house, but I'm not going to frame a child's outfit. So that would be weird. But anyway, I need to do research on that and figure out exactly what this is, but it looks old and it looks just so pretty. So I got it. Sorry guys. I just had a lot of impulse buys. Next is this set. It's a size 16, definitely a vintage size 16 though. Cause I feel like it might fit me, but it's a vintage hot pink skirt and it comes with this wonderful, long, open front blazer duster thing. And it feels like a linen-y fabric, although I think it might be polyester. There's the brand, but it was just so fun. And it has pockets and like these side pleats, but I thought this would look really cute with like a pair of skinny jeans and like, I don't know, I just imagine like Audrey Hepburn type style with a pair of like high-waisted cigarette, black pants, tucked in with a black shirt and just like some cute flats and making it look really elegant. We'll see. But I just thought that was really pretty and I wanted to just give it a shot. That's how I roll with vintage sometimes. I just follow my gut. All right, this is another vintage piece. They're not selling for a ton, maybe like 20 bucks, but it's like this um, metal mesh bag and it's a flip top. Let me see what the brand was. La Vigali Limited. Um, that's not like a very high end or super collectible brand as far as I could tell, but I just liked it and I think, I don't know, I think I wanna carry this a few times. It's really cute. I have a belt that is made of this same type of uh, metal that the handle is. So I'm like, you know, if anything, I'll keep it and it'll match my belt. So yeah, I liked that. I'm going to take this off. I'm getting hot. Let's get back into the haul. So I have more clothes here. These are a pair of J Jill pants. They're black. They're pretty basic, just extra large wide leg black pants. They look really comfortable. I have some men's jeans here. They're page jeans, size 36. Um, I don't know much about men's page jeans, but 
I decided to give them a shot. I think I looked them up and maybe they were going for around $30. I can't remember, but I do like picking up men's jeans when they're in good condition and these were in good condition. I also got a pair of Lucky Brand jeans. I got two pairs of Lucky Brand jeans. They're the same size. So I'm going to put in the description that I have another pair of the same size and hopefully someone will bundle them on Poshmark. But these are the 70s boot style and yeah, they have some distressing to the knee and they have a raw released hem. So yeah, those are fun and they are, yeah, they do have a little bit of a flare boot to them. So that's, I guess where the 70s style comes in. This is the 367 vintage boot men's jeans and they're also a 38, 32. So yeah, good style, not much to them. They're nice, they're not destroyed. I gave them a shot. They might only go for 15, 20 bucks, but men just come and buy stuff. So I like selling men's things. Um, I got this skirt for me, but if it doesn't fit, I'll sell it. So I'll just show you guys. It is a vintage Liz Claiborne skirt, and I just love nautical things. And this has like a map on it, as well as like little cameos. I don't know, some explorers of some sort. And yeah, it's a true wrap skirt. And I just thought it was really cute. I've sold this same skirt in a different pattern before, and it sold pretty fast. Um, like what I mean is it's a different print, but the same style. So I know I can sell it if I decide not to keep it. So I haven't tried it on yet. That's the great thing about being a reseller is you can buy things for yourself and not have to try them on in store because you know you can resell them. So that's always a nice thing. Okay, I got this leather skirt. It is gold, a gold leather skirt. And it's new with tags. It's Linda Allard by Ellen Tracy, size four but the tag has been sliced. There's the logo. I don't know much about this brand. It looks like comps were around 25 to $30. The only bad part is there's like indentations from where the hanger was in the thrift store and I almost didn't get it. But my mom's like, you should get that leather's really trendy. And I gave into peer pressure. So I told her I'm going to blame you if this doesn't sell fast and watch it sell super fast. Next is this really cute dress. It's Twall, I think is the print name. Twall, Twill, Twall. I'll have to look it up again. But um, my grandma used to have curtains that had this pattern on it. And I just think it's so cute. It's blue and white twall. It's Russ, um, a Liz Claiborne company. Okay, I didn't know that. And it's size 810, medium, really cute little dress. Um, thinking I can get around $30 for that. All right, I got a J. Crew dress. This is a size double zero. And it is new with tags. But once again, the tag has been sliced. I don't know if the thrift store does that. I don't understand why they do that. Um, but yeah, it's, it's just really cute chevron gold print with pockets and it's in beautiful condition. Yeah, I like that. Really holiday style. I wish I'd found it before Christmas and New Year's. Um, I've sold a dress just like this in the past. I can't remember if I sold on eBay or Poshmark, but it's just a button front denim dress with long sleeve. Like I sold a dress almost identical to this. I might even be able to pull out my modeled shots and use them because it is the same dress. But um, the size and brand tag have been cut out. So I'm really gonna have to rely on measurements for this one, which is why I probably, um, yeah. So I think I got around $25 for it last time. So hopefully I can get around that price again. All right, next, another J. Crew top, and it has like the pull tag in it. Like it is new, but there's no tag attached. But it's just a really cute, oh, you know what though? There are a few little spots on it that I didn't notice till like just now. Like right here, there's a few spots. So yeah, really cute top. I'm gonna try this on, but it doesn't fit, I'll sell it. But I thought that was really cute and dainty. And now that I know it has stains, I don't know. We'll see if I can get those out. It doesn't look that bad. Um, last but not least, from that thrift store, on my $23 haul, <laughs> I got this Reebok just athletic shirt. It's in nice condition, has like this nice um, stitching throughout it. Yeah. That is my haul from that thrift store. So when I was at this thrift store and looking at all of the items they had for a dollar, it was really hard not to buy a lot more items. And I don't know, maybe some of these things you wouldn't have picked up yourself and you think, you know, why did she buy that? But I really had to um, whittle down my stash. Like I didn't buy everything that I found because I wanted to not just buy something because it's cheap, but buy it because I think it will actually resell. 
or I think it's just really fun and I would enjoy listing it. Sometimes when I buy stuff just because I like it, it does sell really fast. So anyway, that, that's kind of my rationale, my thought process behind that. Okay, let's take a break from what I thrifted yesterday and I'm gonna real quick show you the items from my, um, it was a fill a bag for $5 sale that I went to. I posted a video for it a while back. If you haven't seen it, make sure you go back and watch it. But I gave some stuff to my grandma for her to stain treat. And look at this bag, it's like half full. And I already showed you like so much stuff from that haul, but these are some more items that my grandma got the stains out of. You guys, the stains on these were horrible too. I am so shocked she was able to get the stains out. Like this vintage dress had stains all the way down the front and she got them out and it's just so exciting. It's like almost, almost German or um, Dutch looking style, but this embroidery was just so cute. It's long sleeve and there's still a few light, light, light spots on it, but nothing like it was before. I'm talking like there was like brown spots like right down the front of it it looked so bad so yeah that's a really cute little vintage dress i'm hoping to get around 40 dollars for it we'll see um this dress is gorgeous and this also had stains right down the front of it like right down the front of it and she got them out cannot believe it but look at that pretty beading detailing sequin it has like a little mock neck collar full length um, gives me 70s vibes. I tried this on. It's really fun. I wish I had an occasion to wear it, but I don't, so I will be selling it. Yeah, and I don't really know how to price that one yet, but I'm thinking at least $40. We'll see. All right, next is this one. It's Country Line is the brand, and look at that collar. All of that ruffly lace goodness, and then the sleeve. Total cottagecore vibes. I just love this top. Um, I'm excited to get that one listed. Next is this vintage nurse's uniform. Um, I don't know what these are worth. I just picked it up because I thought it was cute. I thought it was cool. It was a fill a bag for $5 sale. This made me happy. So yeah, it's like a vintage nurse's uniform and it's snap front. So if you know anything about these, let me know. If not, I will be looking it up shortly and we'll see what it's worth. Next, I got this little nighty. It's, um, what is this called? Seersucker. Seersucker with this lace top. And I don't even remember where the stains were because they're gone now. And I'm so excited about that. And I just realized there is a tiny little hole in the back. That's a bummer. So I'll just disclose that and list it. But yeah, it's like a little nighty, but someone could totally wear that as a dress if they wanted to. And maybe put a little belt around it, a little cardigan over it. I don't know, whatever they wanted to do. All right, Walt Disney World, Winnie the Pooh embroidered shirt. Um, now this, wow, it is not showing up all on camera like the white is not focusing but like if you can see there it has Winnie the Pooh on it and Piglet but it's like a sleep top and it's missing the bottoms but I feel like someone could wear that today with like a pair of high-waisted jeans and look super cute all right and next or last in this bag is some seven for all mankind a pocket jeans and they have like the rhinestone a pocket and then this offset one there was a stain like right here on these and I still see like something light there but not nearly as bad but yeah really nice denim a pocket jeans so with seven for all mankind that's the style i look for and buy nowadays because some of the other seven for all mankind is not worth quite as much so i get excited when i find that particular style all right let's look at my bins haul now so i got only a few clothing items and a lot of shoes and a lot of hard goods. So I'm really excited to show you guys this. All right, so I spent a total of $19.29 at the bins. Um, yeah, so let's, let me show you what I got. All right, so this was kind of an impulsive buy, but because there was three of them, I figured I could bundle them and sell them. It's an original by Marie St. John. So this is probably just some small local artist. Maybe she sells on Etsy, I don't know. But they're just these cute little bibs and they're owls and I just thought like they are so cute and I thought I could maybe sell them in a bundle on Poshmark and I got them because I thought they're cute I have no idea what they're worth maybe ten dollars for the three of them I don't know all right next clothing item is this Walt Disney World sweater my mom found this I'm always up for a good Disney item and this is a size large yeah it's from the Disneyland Resort so nice like Americana Disney sweater and it's really soft still 
All right, last clothing item. And then we have lots of shoes that I'm so excited about. It's just this universal thread dress. It's floral. It's a wrap dress. I pick up some universal thread when I think it's a really cute style because they sell fast for me. Not for very much, maybe for 15 bucks, but nonetheless, it sells fast. All right, let's look at these shoes. First, I got these Sanook shoes. These always sell for me. Sometimes it's usually pretty fast. They're like, I have two left feet. So these will not sell fast because they are two left feet. So unless someone out there has two left feet, Chelsea, how does this even happen? Uh, I don't know if I would sell these single. That would be a little weird. They're not like that valuable that someone would be looking for a single shoe. Yeah, don't do this people. Don't do this. <laughs> All right, next is some mini Tonka moccasins. And these look to be a left and a right shoe. Um, I don't know the size though. Let's see if the size is printed in it. They look like they're a size seven from what I can see, but they have this like um, fringe and this beadwork on them. Pretty good condition. So yeah, I have sold mini Tonka before. I'm thinking I'll get around 20 to $25 for these. Not a ton because they're not like brand new, but they're cute and someone will love them. I picked these up because I noticed on the bottom it said made in Italy and then there was an old Dillard's price tag that said $99.99 on them. So that made me want to grab them and look them up. So these are Sesto Meucci. I don't know. Have you guys ever sold that brand? So I got these and they look to be selling for around $30 um, in this condition. So. Yeah, I was excited to find some really good quality shoes there. Next are these little boy shoes. I, I'll admit I did not look these up. I just got them because they are in like new condition and they're Adidas, like cleats, little boy cleats. And they're a size 13 kids. And they're just like never, they don't look like they've ever been worn. So yeah, I'm excited to sell those. And they were $5.99 in the normal Goodwill. How about that? All right, I had never heard of this brand, but they looked like comfort shoes, quality comfort shoes, so I looked them up. The brand is Beezies, B-Z-E-E-S. Eh, can you see it? Okay, so I got these, I looked them up. They seem to be selling for around 25 to $30. They're just like these comfort shoes. Yeah, very like extreme arch support, so. That was a noon to be brand. And if I find them at the bins, I'll probably pick them up again. Yeah, they got some scuffing here, but I think I can get that off really quick and easy with the magic eraser. Oops, hit my tambourine down there. Okay, so these I wanna clean up. My mom said I could just throw them in the washing machine um, because I'm not one to sit around and just like scrub away. But they're these vans and they're that stylish checkerboard print that I see everyone wearing nowadays. They're a size men's five, six and a half women's. The bottoms look good. They're just a little dirty. And I might try to just throw them in the washing machine and see what happens because I got them from the bins and I think that will be the fastest way to clean them. Let me know if you do that. By the time you see this video, the damage may already be done and I may regret it. We will see. <laughs> All right, next I got these Keds. These look to sell around $20. They're not super trendy, but they look like nice comfort shoes and maybe someone had a pair of shoes like this and wanted to replace them. Great condition. Um, they are a size eight, size eight. So yeah, so some comfortable, nice kids. And one last pair of shoes, and then I have a belt, and then I have lots of hard goods to show you. All right, next is these Born boots. And I just thought the style was so cute. So this, the picture I saw on Poshmark, someone had flipped this out like that, and then flipped this out. I don't know if that's how you wear it. But um, either way, they're just these really cute lace up born booties and I think they're just adorable. So they are a size six. So yeah, those are all of the shoes I got. Now let me show you all of the random hard goods I got. Um, my Goodwill charges very little for hard goods. So whenever I see something that I think I can make even $10 off, I get it. 
Um, I like selling hard goods on Poshmark because people bundle them with other items. Let's say they want to buy this basket, but who wants to pay $7 shipping for just this one basket? So they'll buy this basket and then they'll buy like, you know, a few other things from my closet and bundle it all up and it makes it worth it. So if they pay $5 for this basket, but they buy three other items, I call that a win. So first of all, this little basket, I just thought that was cute and baskets are such a thing right now. Good baskets always sell for me. All right, next is this Lennox Santa Claus ornament. It is still new in the packaging. Um, I don't see much other details about it on here, but I know Lennox is a very expensive brand, so I figured I would give that a shot. Didn't look it up, guys, sorry. All right, next is this Toy Magical Instruments set that has never really been opened. All of the instruments in here are still in plastic. Um, every little instrument you could possibly imagine is in here. <laughs> so what a fun little set. It's new in the box, in the pack, it's original packaging. And it looks like that's an Amazon label there. So maybe I should try scanning that with my Amazon app and see what this was originally priced for. But I'm thinking maybe I could get 15 to $20 for it. I don't know, we'll see. But there's some nice wooden instruments in there, super fun. That'd be fun to ship. You know, the mailman will hear all of that noise. Next is the game Connect 4. I scanned this at the bins and it seems like they're selling for around $15 and it's in good condition. Um, it's missing two, I think of the black colored pegs, but there's still like 20 of them instead of 22. So I figured that would be okay. Yeah, I'll just disclose it. So Connect 4. And I can list these, you can list these on Poshmark now too because games are allowed under kids' toys. All right, next is this new from Target. I think I have some zip ties where I can put this back on there, but it's basically a shelf holder and wow. So that's what it looks like when you put it up. It's a bracket shelving. There's the all the hardware that goes with it. So everything is still there and you just pick your own choice of wood and you put it together. So yeah, maybe $10 for that, $15. Okay, my camera stopped me for a minute there because it said I'd be record been recording too long, but I haven't, I'm almost done. <laughs> so thank you for staying tuned if you've made it this far because my camera hasn't even made it this far. All right, so I restarted it and I got these boxes for gifts. I'm always buying these um, from the store and why buy them when I can just Get them from the bins for like 10 cents probably. An X-Acto knife. I bought this for myself. I enjoy crafting and I can't tell you how many times I've needed an X-Acto knife and I bought these multiple times. So yeah, new in the box, X-Acto knife. Um, these two items are from the brand Stampin' Up. And I don't know if you've ever heard of that before, but it is like a party brand, kind of like Lou LaRoe or Pampered Chef, but it's for scrapbooking supplies. So this is a scrapbooking set to scrapbook your, you know, your Christmas day or whatever. So yeah, really cute little set. Everything's still in there. It's never been used. And then this is also a set and it looks like everything's in here. It's just been put in a Ziploc bag, but it's still all sealed. So this is what the project kit looks like. It's all of these like cards. So yeah, I'll list this on Poshmark and eBay. Um, on eBay, they look to be selling for around 15 to $20. And on Poshmark, I don't know, I think it'd be a really good bundling piece. So we will see how these do. I just got them because I knew stamping up was expensive. Okay, this is like some kind of basket, but I thought how cute would this be if someone bought this and they hung all their earrings on here because it's like, that thin mesh looking kind and it's just so cute and boho and mid-century ish so yeah I thought that was really nice and baskets like I said so so fast for me on Poshmark next is some um beading supplies looks like some crafting lady donated a lot of her stuff so I make jewelry too I made these earrings that I'm wearing right now I don't know if you can see them yeah I made those um, so I needed actually a new pair of pliers that has the cutting part on it because I lost my pair that had the cutting part and I found a pair of pliers at the bins. So that was exciting. And then there's this beadwork string metal wire that is pretty expensive. And I have bought this in the past for making jewelry. So I knew about it. So anyway, this beading string 
I just got, I don't personally like using this. I like using fishing line, believe it or not, when I make jewelry. So I'll probably sell those in a bundle on eBay and just see what the going rate is for them. I don't need to get much. I actually wanted the pliers that were in here and I just figured I'd grab the whole bag. All right, this is, this is wild, guys. This is like vintage um, lace and it's this whole roll of vintage lace. So it says native textiles is like the branding on it. And it's just like this, this whole roll of beautiful lace. And then inside of the, the little lace thing right here, there were these scissors. I thought that was really funny. Like someone had kept that in there to cut it whenever they wanted to use it. But um, I personally am a lace hoarder. I have like a whole drawer full of vintage lace and doilies and I do projects with them. So I don't know if I'm going to sell this or if I'm going to keep this and add it to my hoard, but I just can't pass up on a good vintage lace because guys, if you ever need to buy lace for a project and you go to the store, you're paying by the yard and it's not cheap. So I grabbed that. We'll see what I do with it. Okay, I definitely will be selling these. Um, it's a whole bag of yarn and <laughs> they had been discounted to $1.25 at some store. I'll probably just take that off, but it says feather boa needle craft um, yarn. Yeah. And then there's like this kind of yarn, but I'm probably just gonna lot it all up and sell it together knitting yarn it's all it says there but i'm going to just take pictures of it and sell it in a lot on ebay or Poshmark. and some love some crafting lady can come and buy it all most of it has not been used it looks like this one had been rolled up into a ball but the other ones look like they haven't even been used so yeah lots of pretty yarn and that is my haul everyone i hope you enjoyed seeing all of the things I got from the thrift store the other day and then the wonderful items that my grandma got stains out of because she is amazing. So I hope you enjoyed and maybe you got some ideas of things that you can pick up to resell and maybe took some notes from me about just picking up things that you like and that you have an expertise in. I hope you have a wonderful day. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like this type of content, please consider subscribing because I do hauls quite frequently on this channel and give you tips and tricks about how to sell on Poshmark, eBay, and Mercari. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye. Okay, so one other thing I forgot to show you is I got all of these velvet hangers at the bins as well. So there's like two little kid ones and then all of these adult size normal ones. And I was like, these were on my list to buy. I was going to buy another 15 to 20 of them from Marshalls and they're normally around 15 to $20. So I got these for myself. So I was really excited about that because I will be using these on my garment rack over here to hang up all of the goodies I just bought. So anyway, I just had to show you that. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>